spoken part of my imagination. I'm imagination and you're the imaginers. Welcome, this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or how many times you clicked on my channel. Welcome. Today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing an unhaul. Um, I recently had just bought like 17 books. I don't know. This haul might be out. The haul should be out before this video. I don't know. I just be editing and posting. So <laughs> I'm not going to tell you when it's going to be out. this is kind of just like my own little 75 hard is no buying Funko and no buying books because for the last couple of months oh my god me and my boyfriend have been going crazy it's really his fault because he like you want to go to Barnes and Noble okay uh it's like I don't, do you want to go to Barnes and Noble I'm like yeah like why would I not want to go to Barnes and Noble but yeah I'm trying to slow down on my spending especially because I'm trying to save this year as I said in my first video or my goals video. I don't even think I could post. Anyways, I'm deviating. This is an unhaul. So I unhaul some books to fit the books that I did buy on here. And I won't be buying any more books. But yeah, these are all the books. So let's just get into it. The first book that I have, excuse me, is Blackfish City. And this is by Sam J. Miller. I have no idea what this book is about. I got it from the dollar store. Um, I had seen it somewhere. Like, spec. Like it was roaming around the bookstores. And that's probably why, because somebody bought it from the dollar store and then sold it. After the climate wars, a floating city is constructed in the Arctic Circle, a remarkable feat of mechanic, mechanical and social engineering, complete with geo, geothermal heating and sustainable energy. The city's um, desians have become accustomed to a roughshod way of living. However, the city is st starting to fray along the edges. Crime and corruption have set in. The contradictions of incredible wealth along direct, alongside direct poverty are spawning unrest in a dangerous epidemic nicknamed The Breaks. It's spreading, ravaging the population. When a strange new visitor arrives, a woman riding on an orca with a polar bear at her side, the city is entranced. The orca manster, as she's known, very subtly brings together four people, each living on the periphery to stage unprecedented acts of resistance by banding together to save their city before it crumbles under the weight of its own decay they will learn shocking truths about themselves like it does sound interesting but at the same time i've had it on my shelf for so long that i'm not picking it up so why am i holding on to it if i really 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 just want to read it i will pick it up next i'm getting rid of the companion by katie um a lender and this book was kindly sent to me by Penguin Teen uh, last year. Yeah, like last year, two years ago. Um, I've since read this book. It is a thriller-ish book. Psychological thriller. And I really enjoyed it. I already know the ending, so I'm not going to read it again. So I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, maybe I'll give it to my boyfriend because he does like psychological thrillers. Or he does like thrillers. I don't know about psychological. But he does like thrillers, so maybe I'll just give this to him, see if he enjoys it. So it might still be on my shelf, mainly because he doesn't have any room. But I'm I'm actually, like, it's not going to be in my collection anymore. I'm getting rid of it. And this is following, I don't want to say too much, but it's basically following this girl who is an orphan. And his family adopts her specifically so they can take care of her, their mute daughter. And some shit goes awry that ain't what she thought it was going to be and that's basically what this is about all right the next book i have is ally by anna banks and i have had this book on my shelf for a really long time i have no desire to read it simply because this is also not the first book so yeah uh the first book is nemesis and i have not read it i do not own it have not good heard anything about it and honestly i just I can't be bothered. Like, I look at this book and I'm like, why is it on my shelf? All right, the next book I have is A Whole Life by Robert C. C. Taylor. Hyler, excuse me. This book is literally 150 pages about an old man. Y'all know me. I don't know what it is about reading about old white men <laughs> from different countries. But A Man Named Ove is one of my favorite books. <laughs> And he's just a grumpy old man. And this guy is kind of a grumpy old man. And, like, I really did enjoy this. And it's, like, a reflection of his life. I know I'm not going to read it again. But 
it's literally just about this man's life on his on this mountain and how he started from a small boy and became a grown man into an old man it's just his life it just is a translated work as well so yeah i oh the author is german i think yeah i don't know either way I'm not going to reread this book. It was really good, though. Because it was just about an old man and his life. All right, the next two books I have is My Lady Jane and My Plain Jane. These are by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashford, and Jody Meadows. I'm not going to read these, all right? And I know that, you know, Princess loves um, the Janes. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I picked this book up. But I just don't have a desire to read them. I also don't even own the whole series. So I only have two of them. I'm not going to read these. I've looked at them multiple times and had no desire to pick them up. But they're this. I think this one is following Jane Eyre. And this one is following Jane Grey. So, like, I could care less. Are right, these next two books are not the same in a series, but I just have no desire to, to read them. I probably will actually sell them online because I've heard, I've seen some people try to get these books, but I don't know. And it's a $30 book. But the first book is Wonderstruck, and this is by Brian, Brian Shelznick. Selznick. Um, this is a picture book. Well, it goes back and forth. Like, it's telling a story through photos, but then it's also, like, words as well. I got this book at Half Price Books a long time ago, and it was alright, like, nothing to write home about. It was just about a boy and a girl, and how they end up being connected somehow, some way, through New York City. Um, and yeah, uh, I just, I don't, I don't need it on my bookshelf, because I'm not going to read it again, even though it is really pretty. And I do like how these two make a face but that goes into the next one and is this is the the invention of hugo cabert cabret excuse me um and again i haven't read this one i just also could care less you know like i look at it and i was only holding on to it because it is a beautiful book but i'm not going to read it you know, and I feel like if somebody else wanted this, they could have it and enjoy it more than I will. Just having it sit on my bookshelf. I didn't tell you what either one of these are about, but they're both basically about orphans in like Paris. I said New York, but it was it's Paris. <sighs> okay, and last but certainly not least, because yeah, I keep going back and forth about this one. I'm not too sure if I want to get rid of it yet. But we'll see. I'm, I'll, get, I'll give this one six months. Like, if I'm not picking up any of the books in this series, I'm going to get rid of it. And that is the, I don't even know the name of this, the Red Queen series um, by Victoria Aveyard. I have read the first two books. And honestly, the main characters are so fucking annoying. That's honestly why I want to get rid of the series. Like, I don't know if it gets any better. I have not heard anyone ever rave about this series as far as like really enjoying it one of my close friends danny read the whole series and she said it was booty buns so <laughs> i can't imagine i'm going to enjoy it as well but also i'm curious like i am curious to know what's going on that's why i kind of am hesitant about getting rid of it and then i do also have the signed first edition of this one and yeah i got it for oh i still have the barnes and or the half price books tag on it on the back. I paid 15, $16 for it. So, like, I am still curious to know, but, like, I don't know. Again, I'll give it six months. If by six months I'm just, like, not picking it up, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Those are all the books that I'm getting rid of. Uh, again, it's not really a big unhaul. And I actually did another, the reason why it's not as big is because I actually did an unhaul with Wesley a couple months ago, and I just didn't, well, he recorded it on his phone, and then I just never got around to editing it because 
y'all know me i'm lazy so yeah um that's why this one's so small because i think in the last one like how many books did i end up unhauling like 20 something or something like that i think it was more than that so maybe i'll add that unhaul i'll edit it and unhaul it or something i don't know but yes, anyways, uh, that is all that I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out my description where you can find easy ways to contact me as well as all the books that I'm unhauling. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, just imagine that you didn't come back again. Until next time, keep imagining.